Welcome to a weekend in my life vlog. Um, if you're new here, I am Rudy. I'm a grad school student here in Atlanta. Um, if you're not new here, welcome back. I love you. Thank you for always supporting. Um, this is going to be a weekend in the life study with me, meal prep with me, all of it, I think. Um, I will be starting rotations, clinical rotations, in exactly three weeks from now. I do need to update my calendar. Let's put that on the list. I'll be starting clinical rotations in three weeks, right? So like, I just have a lot to get my life together over the next three weeks, as well as I have an exam Monday. I have a hematology oncology exam Monday. Um, yeah, there's just, there's quite a few things going on. Um, but also Saturdays we go to the farmer's market and I sometimes see my family on the weekends. So just a lot of that going on this weekend. Um, I did not study yesterday, but I have studied throughout the week, so that's really nice. But yesterday, we actually got to enjoy a night with our friends, and I was very excited about that because I don't get to do that often, and I don't get to actually enjoy it often because I just feel guilty that I'm not home studying. So that was great. We watched the Hawks game, ate some wings, had some beers. It was great. But yeah, as usual, if you guys have been here, if you guys have been around, you know, Saturdays I get up earlier than Adam, and I get some alone study time, productive time done um this morning i did need to take care of some like admin big girl stuff like my company my clinic gave me like my retirement information and i just keep neglecting to actually like log into the thing they probably haven't tried to do this for a year i'm so bad like it's really i don't like i do not enjoy admin stuff like whatsoever um finally logged into that and was checking my car insurance all this stuff but yeah, I made some tea. It is, like I said, 9.08. We typically go to the to the farmer's market like 10 or 11. Um, ours is from 8 to 12. And that is where we get like our main stuff from for the week from. Um, so I'll take you guys along with that, of course. But let's make a list of everything we need to get done today. I already have a list of all the lectures that is on Monday's exam. So I've got myelosuppression and in <laughs> myelosuppression and febrile neutropenia oncologic emergencies so that's like extravasation ex extravasation and tumor lysis syndrome and hypercalcemia and then i have chemo dosing calculations supportive oncology so that's like stuff for like nausea vomiting diarrhea and then stuff like um hypersensitivity reactions and like um, VTEs. I've got pain management slash palliative care. So those are all the lectures that are on Monday's exam. I've finished all of those study guides, like legit all of them. Um, I actually did, I did myself three and I shared them with my class and then another classmate did two and she shared them with us. So collectively we all have our study guides ready. Like literally we just need to start like well, obviously we study throughout the week because we have quizzes throughout the week, but now we just need to like really retain the information, which I I feel pretty good about right now because like obviously with the quizzes, when you take the quiz and you're like, oh, I remembered a lot more than I did. And then we do cases as well. And when you're remembering things throughout the cases, you're like, oh, that makes a lot of sense now. So yeah, um, this professor is also younger and new. So she actually gives us an updated objective list when she um goes over when basically we when she finishes all of the lectures she actually will go through each one 
and upload another document of objectives like we get an objective each lecture but she actually uploads one big document objectives and I really enjoy that because um, it allows me to like go through the lecture myself with my study guide and then I go to the objectives and I try to answer each objective myself and then whatever I don't answer I try to use my study guide to help me answer so that's what's on the list today um what else my mom wants to stop by because she found a nice blazer for me um like over the last few weeks i've had a lot of like professional events and I have a lot of professional events coming up for residency season interview season all that good stuff it's just it's wild to think that i'm at this point now so she found something and wants to give it to me maybe we'll do lunch or dinner i prefer i would prefer a dinner today or lunch tomorrow to be honest and then Sundays, we typically like to go for a nice little walk. So happy to take you guys along with me this weekend. But let's start by finishing up some morning admin big girl stuff. The partner is awake and we are headed to the farmer's market now at the kids. Let's see, it's 10, 12. So we just got ready. I had to put eardrops in Yami's ears. He hates it. Look at him. Look at that grumpy face. <laughs> oh, and now we're headed to the farmer's market. So, and it's so nice outside. It is. 70 degrees 68 degrees high 82 today so it looks like it's gonna be a nice weather this weekend so walk to the farmer's market and then of course we do like a little walk on sunday so we'll see what we do tomorrow but head it up Welcome to my grocery haul. First, we've got this fan that has all of the concert dates and important stuff for our city. We've got homemade mac and cheese from a black owned brand. Very excited. We take, we had the sample and we didn't even get to walk far because it was so good. So that's going in the freezer. We have um, a new barbecue brand came and what they're doing is um, they like freeze or it freeze dry. What's the word? Air dry. What's the word? Uh, vacuum seal. <laughs> so this is pulled pork to make pulled pork sandwiches. Um, they are pasture raised and locally sourced, but they also had meatballs. So we got some Italian meatballs and we're probably gonna get some gnocchi to go with the meatballs. And then with the pulled pork, it just makes sense to do the macaroni with it, right? And then I got cookies for my mom. She likes this place that keeps coming to our farmer's market called Sugar Daddy. And you just heard Yami get in trouble. That's it for our grocery haul. Um, we probably will stop by Costco tomorrow to get like stuff for my lunches um and then trader joe's to get noki to go with our meatballs but it's very hot so we're about to eat popsicles to calm down and then we'll be back on study grind And the one weekend it's like super nice outside 
I have to study. Like, we just got back from lunch. We had some coffee. It was so good. And we saw it was an open house at this neighborhood that's like literally right around the corner from us. And we we're like, oh, let's go look, you know, because we're trying to like gauge what the prices are like and what homes are like are over here for when we decide to purchase in a few like we have a condo right now but will we decide to purchase like a home home in like a few years or not but um yeah we went and looked and it was so nice and it was also 1.5 million dollars so yeah um <laughs> yeah these prices are ridiculous but it's so nice and i really don't want to study anymore like the motivation i have it's um actually i don't have it so can't even speak on it but um, I know for sure I'm tired of sitting at my desk. So I came out here and I'm gonna sit on the couch. And I don't think it's a good idea, but I'm gonna do it. No farther away, wait on a moment to say that I want you. You know that I want you. Oh. Hi. It is 6.30. I have lost all motivation. I most likely will not study the rest of this night. I might do some practice cards, but um, I'm just not retaining anything right now. Also, I have gone through all of these lectures, as I was saying earlier, so that's why I don't feel horrible about not retaining anything. I'm making 90s on all of my practice quizzes, and I'm still annotating my PowerPoint as I take these quizzes, so I feel fine, but I have no motivation. I had a stroke. I have no motivation. So we're going to Best Buy to look at mouses because I stole Adam's mouse and then I lost the Bluetooth thing and then I gave it back to him and now it doesn't work anymore. And then I have his other mouse's Bluetooth, but it's loud and clicky. So we're going to go look at mouses and get a milkshake and pick up pizza and then come back and watch something. Selling Sunset Season 5. talking to the camera today and it's definitely 205 um let's see today has been pretty chill we woke up pretty late we were supposed to go for our like sunday walk that didn't happen like we really left like we got out of bed at like 11 30 we were also watching the formula one race this morning and then i was hungry so i was like i'm not about to go for a walk and where we were gonna go it's like 20 minutes away anyway so i was just like eh. So I went for a walk to lunch. I walked myself to lunch. We have a sushi bar that we really like that's like right around the corner from us. So I walked there. I took my iPad. I had a nice little solo sushi study date. It was really cute. And then I came back and I took a shower. I just like freshened up the curls. Um, Adam just left to get him something to eat and him some groceries for his lunches. I don't really feel like studying anymore, honestly. I'm on the last two lectures and I'm just not feeling it, y'all. Like I got a 97 on the first exam, so I'm hoping that cushion will help. But also tomorrow's exam, I don't expect it to be too hard. So I'm just, I don't know, I guess I just, I don't know, honestly, I don't know what to expect. So I shouldn't say that, but I just have no motivation. And it's also because I have, I just, I just updated our calendar, so I have, this week and next week left on campus and i'm just like over it <laughs> to be honest i'm ready to be done 
Um, and then I start rotations one, two, three Mondays from tomorrow. So I'm just like, ugh, I'm ready to be done. So yeah, I'm just not really in the mood to study, I'm not even gonna lie. Um, I think I'm gonna go to Trader Joe's and Kroger to get my lunches. Uh, like we do our dinners together, but our lunches are completely separate because like I'm gone all day. Um, Adam can like go to work on, he goes in office two days a week and then he comes home for lunches because he's, he works only a mile away from our house. So like he gets to like come here and like make stuff if he wants. Um, but I can't do that because I'm at work. I mean, I mean I'm, at, I'm at school and then I come home for work. So, mm. I said something wrong. I'm at school and then I go to work. So like my lunches are like lunches, lunches, plus snacks and protein stuff. So I don't really know what I want. And he told me to check if I want anything, but I don't think I want any of that. So he said he's gonna go to Kroger and Trader Joe's, but I might go to Trader Joe's for us because what he's going to Trader Joe's is to get stuff for us. So I think I might go to Trader Joe's and find some lunches. We'll see. But yeah, I'm at my desk and I just have not had motivation to study, like at all. So let's see how the rest of today goes. But yes, hi, <laughs> finally picked up the camera to talk to y'all. I've got a lot of iPhone shots, but my bad y'all. <laughs> you would be happy to know that I did indeed get some studying after I last talked to you. However, motivation still not there. So we went grocery shopping. Let's do a haul. So first up, is Trader Joe's got some shrimp fried rice, shrimp stir fry, shrimp gyoza, <clears throat> and then we really enjoyed that gnocchi that we got last week, so we got three more because we have a leftover chicken parmesan that I can make with this to take for lunch, as well as we got some meatballs that we're gonna make. So that's Trader Joe's. At Kroger, we got this, um, oh, this is not it. It's somewhere in one of these bags. But it was like a $15 off pickup, and I was like, oh, we're doing that next time. All right, Adam got some of those Arizonas. I got a bunch of vitamin waters, ketchup, barbecue sauce because we've got that pulled pork from the farmer's market. Celery, I typically try to get the packs that are already cut up, but they didn't have any more, so I guess I'll cut these up. And I actually recently saw this like tick trick on TikTok about cutting up your own celery and making it last longer when you put them in a glass of water. Um, cookies, lemon and poppy seed muffins for breakfast. Some lunches, link cuisines. Um, and then I got a bunch of like just soups, chicken noodle, and then savory vegetable just for like those lunch days where I'm not sure if I have lunch being brought in by school or not, or it's just when I don't know what's up. But that's lunch haul. Oh, and my favorite non-dairy ranch. <laughs> never finished off yesterday's vlog um so that's what I'm doing right now it's Monday I've already taken the exam all that good stuff it's currently like 10 15 my exam was at 8 um but I never finished off yesterday but yesterday literally I still lost motivation towards the end but I did very well on my exam today I haven't got my score back but I only start 6 out of 45 and I'm feeling pretty good but yeah last night we just like ended up getting Chinese and pizza watching Selling Sunset and just ending the day out on the couch and as usual I get up at 4 a.m. or 4 30 a.m. on exam days but I uh, just wanted to close this out and just wanted to say hi I love you thank you guys for following along this video and I'll see you next week